Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I'm Felicia. If you're tuning in to watch me for the first time, you're welcome to Felicia B. In this video, I'm going to be featuring some Arabian fragrances that I just picked up. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the video. Alright y'all, I'm just going to go straight into the point. The very first fragrance I have here is by Afnan and this is Supremacy. It looks like this. Alrighty, this fragrance comes off fruity to me, um, but the dry down is what my body chemistry does not really vibe with this fragrance. I bought it because of the, I'm looking at my camera if I'm running low on the battery. I bought this fragrance based off of the reviews on Amazon, but, um, there is something, there's a note in the fragrance that my body chemistry does not agree with. It's given something like, um, I want to say grandma, but I don't like to describe fragrances with that word because I mean, I'll be a grandma someday, but as a young lady, I want to smell like a lady. Okay. So something that gives me the impression of being a grandma, I do not want that around me. So. That is the reason I'm really not vibing with this. It, don't get me wrong. This is a beautiful, sweet, um, fruity scented fragrance. But again, I, I don't know. The, it, everybody smells things differently. And for me, this does smell, come off different to me. Um, I do not know if I would use this. I will probably gift this to somebody. Um, if I don't find who to give this to as a gift, I would use it, say, um, I would use it, say, um, during the daytime or I'll wait during the winter because this fragrance is, um, very strong. If you've used this fragrance, please do let me know in the comment section below, but I really tried so hard to like it. I, I sprayed it on a strip like this for complete two days, trying to, first myself to like this fragrance, but mm -mm. my body chemistry wasn't just vibing with this. So this is a pass for me. I would not be using this. The next fragrance I have here, which I just filmed a video for, if you've missed that video, please let like, um, check in the description box to go see that video. This is, um, a new fragrance to me. This is from the house of Hamidi and is the Dome Collection Capital. It looks like this. I bought this fragrance because of the color, obviously, and the fragrance note. It is so beautiful. If you love purple and pink and all gold tone fragrances, I mean, this would does, it just catches your eyes. This is not gonna be a first impressions from me because I have sniffed this fragrance about two times. I do love the scent, I'm not gonna lie. It's a mix of floral and fruity notes. The fragrance note for this is Jasmine, Orange, Blossom, and Peach. The middle notes are Jasmine, Sembac, Tuberose, Tuberose, and Rose. The base notes are Mox, Orange, Blossom, Praline, iris and sandalwood. I have sniffed this fragrance before. I know what it smells like. I have used it about two or three times, I believe. I do get this mix of um, floral and fruity notes. The only thing about the fragrance is it is it comes off as oily on my skin, but the scent is beautiful, something I would reach for during the summertime, but not as much because it is it comes off very oily on my skin. But the scent is really beautiful, it's smooth, it's not heavy, it's not in your face. It's a fragrance that um I would describe as something that would not project. The projection from this fragrance from me would be average. If I used, I have to use this fragrance in a room with closed door, then you walk in and you feel me. If I'm outside and I use this fragrance, you have to give me a hug to like tell that I have a fragrance on. It's not a fragrance that you could pick on from a distance from me. If I want the fragrance to project a little more, then I have to use it a lot more so that you could um, 
feel me from a distance away. The fragrance does last six hours on my skin. This is a beautiful fragrance. I do love it. Um, you could overspray if you want to. It does come off very oily. I have here is by Swiss Arabian and this is the Arij Al Shilia. Comes in this packaging. Is so nice. Top notes are pepper um, and saffron. Middle notes are rose and oud. And base notes are amber and sandalwood. So I'm just going to do a quick spray for you guys and let y'all know. This is a nice scent. It, I'm not wowed by it because I'm a huge um, floral and gourmand and fruity and uh, floral lover. But this scent does not wow me. It's definitely a mature scent. Yeah, this is for the non-floral lover peeps watching my video. This is the way to go. You would love this. If you're a wood or a woody or earthy fragrance lover, you will love this fragrance. For me, um, I will be reaching for this in the fall and winter time, definitely not in the summertime. It's a heavy fragrance. It's something that I, it's a fragrance that I feel would last long on the skin. But yeah, I do pick on this rose scent. The saffron comes at the top, the rose and the oud comes around. You might like it. Last but not least is this fragrance by Latafa. This is Lynn. It is quite heavy. Yeah, this is not a lightweight fragrance. <laughs> this is so heavy. The detail and everything about this fragrance is definitely giving luxury. Presentation is good. Packaging is top notch. I love it. I did try this fragrance, not use it, but I did sniff it. This is not going to be a first impression. And when I start sounding like this, then you already know that I don't really, I don't like the fragrance, right? <laughs> I picked up this fragrance because of the fragrance note. It does have this anyway. You know what? I'm just going to read the fragrance notes. The top notes are turmeric, bergamot, pink pepper, and ginger. And the base notes are sandalwood, mox, and incense. So I'm just going to do a quick spray for you. Oh, you know what? I'm not even gonna lie, the top notes of this fragrance, what I get here are spices like ginger, that um, turmeric and ginger is what I pick. Only thing that I don't like about this fragrance is when I keep sniffing on the fragrance, it's given something like, um, it gives me something like, um, I don't wanna say, but I'll just try to say it, something like, a petroleum product like gas gasoline scent to me this is the very first fragrance that has given me that vibe and as much as I keep getting these beautiful ginger notes I still keep getting that gasoline scent I don't know where it's coming from maybe it's my body chemistry it's pricey it's expensive for an Arabian fragrance. I know there are other branded fragrances that are expensive, but I wasn't expecting to get this vibe from this fragrance. I guess three weeks is not enough to um, leave this fragrance. I don't, again, I something in me wants to dispose this and something in me wants to keep it a little more just to see if um, it would change at some point. But as of right now, Sniffing this from this paper, I'm not just vibing with this fragrance. I don't know. I do not just vibe with it. I just wish that I'm not getting this gasoline scent from this fragrance, but it is so good. I'm just gonna put it back in the box and take it to a dark place like in my closet and just let it sit there. I'll forget about it. I'll go look for it maybe in two months and I'll let y'all know what I think, but I do not vibe with this fragrance at all, sadly. And it hurt because I paid for this. Whatever. Oh, it has a similar packaging as the Latafa camera and the Latafa Koiway. I cannot pronounce that, please forgive me. But wow, this is so good. Look at that top. The bottle is so beautiful, looks so luxurious. I love this. Okay, 
I've been hearing that this fragrance is duping another fragrance. Fragrance notes for this fragrance are um, nutmeg, saffron, and dates. Middle notes are vanilla, praline, and tuberose. Base notes are tucker bean, benzoin, amber rose, and mugs. From the fragrance notes, I already know what this reminds me of. I'm gonna do a quick spray for you. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. That's so pretty. I'm gonna do a quick spray. I hope you don't die on me, Mr. Cameraman. Ah, uh, yeah, this, <laughs> I'm laughing because this reminds me of Latifah Camera. And they say this um, fragrance is a dupe of Angel Share. I do not own Angel Share in my collection. Okay, as the fragrance is coming through, as I'm letting it sit, I can get the dates from it, which reminds me of Latafa camera, straight on. And that is, when I got that fragrance, I did not like it. Smell of alcohol on me, I let it sit for about six months. I went back to Latafa camera, and right now, that is one of, like, top five fragrances would be Latafa camera. And this reminds me of that. So, um, oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. It is sweet. It is so nice. Oh my goodness, I love this. If you own Latafa camera, I do not think you need to get this. I wish I knew. Now I have two similar fragrances. It's not bad, it's so beautiful. I highly, highly recommend it. If you love spicy, sweet vanilla fragrances, you would love this. And I definitely see myself wearing this during the fall and the winter season. This is so nice. Bring me to the end of this video. I hope this was helpful to you. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos every week and be sure to stay safe, stay beautiful. Subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, bye.